pestilence abroad. Well, some scientists believe the key to finding an effective treatment for COVID-19 lies in the plasma of those who are recovering from the virus. Earlier this week, the FDA approved the use of virus-fighting antibodies from the blood of previously infected people to help treat current patients. And joining me now via Skype is the founder of Survivor Corps and the first person in New York State to be screened for those antibodies, Diana Barrent. Diana, big welcome to you, and I guess a thank you to so many people for being the first person to do this. Tell me first, um, when you got sick and how long it took to uh, recover? I got sick on Friday the 13th. Um, you can read into that what you want. Um, there was nothing subtle about it. I woke up with 102 fever. I felt like I had an anvil on my chest. Um, and I was fever free after about four days. Um, a few, Some of the symptoms did linger, but I was definitely one of the lucky ones who was able to recover at home with Tylenol and Gatorade. So I feel incredibly blessed, but I had a typical experience. Um, and so I hope that gives hope to those people out there who are suffering at home through it right now, because it can be miserable and is quite scary. So yeah. you're looking at the face of somebody on the other side. Well, and that is a, a, a great face to see looking so healthy and well. But uh, the possibility of becoming a donor, how did you hear about that? So I was one of the first people in my area to be diagnosed with COVID-19. And as soon as I got that news, I realized that if I was lucky, I would also be one of the first survivors. And with that came a tremendous responsibility and an opportunity. And I started seeing um, solicitations from local hospitals in New York looking for, for plasma dona donors. And they were be being sent around like chain mail. And I realized what an inefficient system that was. And we needed to create an efficient platform to, cr to connect survivors with these research opportunities. And not just for donating plasma, but your previous guest talked about the study going on at University of uh, Minnesota, I believe. Mm -hmm. That is posted to our public Facebook page. Uh, it's a public group open to everybody called Survivor Corps. And it, we are updating it daily with every research opportunity around the country to serve as a matchmaking service and make it as easy as possible for these research institutions to use us to to stem the tide of this pandemic and save lives. For every plasma donation, three to four lives can be saved. Yeah, well, I hope uh, Dr. David Bulware is listening to this because he was still looking for some of those who would be able to be part of this study. He but posted it this morning. He great. will be flooded soon. Excellent. Well, good. Um, requirements, though, to be uh, able to be part of a study like this or to donate uh, yourself, how, how difficult are the screening process for that? Or is the screening process? Um, it's an interesting question. It really varies from study to study. Um, for a plasma donation, they're really looking for people who are ideally at least two weeks symptom free, but really ideally 28 days. We are seeing that the virus is still showing up in people's bodies, um, even after two weeks symptom free. Um, and the longer you wait from the resolution of symptoms, the higher the count of antibodies are in your body. Mm -hmm. So my when I contracted the virus, my body naturally created the antibodies to fight it off. And those are superpower skills. And we as survivors can use that to um, transfer those superpowers, those antibodies into the very sickest. But we can also participate in all of the other trials going on to figure out how which drugs are responding to our antibodies, methods of transmission, how long the virus remains in the system, how long we are shedding the virus. Um, we can answer the questions that will move science ahead. And so we wanted to, I wanted to create an efficient platform mm -hmm. and it's a grassroots movement and we are connecting people on a daily basis. We are flooding these studies with volunteers. Well, I have to say, I applaud you and I uh, very much admire what you have done. It's a very Thank bold, you. brave step. And I know a lot of people uh, need to join your ranks and also those who are suffering right now are probably looking at you for hope. Thank you very much, Diana Barrett, for joining yeah. us.